Hello everybody, this is Reviews and More, back with a quick kitchen item review. This is on the Ninja Foodie Never Stick Cool Touch Pots and Pans set. This set is currently for sale at various locations for around 220 but I got this on Black Friday last year and I'm just getting around to reviewing it and I got it for about 160 after a big sale came around just before, before Christmas. So what's included, it is an 8 inch fry pan, a 10 and a quarter inch fry pan with a lid, a 12 inch fry pan, a 1 quart sauce pan with a lid, a 2 and a half quart uh, pan with a sauce lid, and a 5 quart saute pan with a lid and a 6 and a half quart stock pot and as, with a lid as well as a spatula and spoon which really don't care too much about the main features of this is obviously obviously it is a non-stick pan as the whole non-stick system by ninja uh the big thing this is separate from the other pans that you can buy like individually at walmart or target is that it has the cool touch handles which are basically just silicone rubberized handles that do effectively disperse heat um as far as being heat safe the pans themselves are advertised being heat safe up to like thirty thousand degrees obviously that's not what an oven's going to get to but they're basically oven safe up to a certain temperature about 400 degrees now i've never put them in that hot and that heat because i don't trust the pan handles that much and i don't want to lose my actual cooking wear so i don't do that but it is advertised that way it's also advertised being metal utensil safe again i don't ever test that because in my opinion non-stick cookware whether it be ninja copper whatever teflon does doesn't matter what you're using none of it to me is technically going to be that kind of safe i have uh used this in the dishwasher as it's marketed as dishwasher safe so far i haven't had issues with it um and in this review you're going to see obviously me unpacking all the various pieces and parts and testing an egg a with a cold start a egg with a hot start with oil and checking the baked beans ability to cook one because i wanted baked beans and also because of the high sugar content you can have some burning and scorching at high temperatures and i want to see how well it avoids that or at least avoids the sticking that can result from that so as we're running through this again it was 219 dollars but it you will find this go on sale during the holiday season so if you're needing a pan set right now or if you're looking to make a gift for somebody 219 is your price if you're saving if you're saving up for your own self or maybe you need some wants a christmas present for somebody this will get knocked down by about 50 bucks if you buy from sam's or some other big box stores um, it has an extra thick bottom these are aluminum pans so they can be prone to warping if they get exposed to high heat followed by like water or something which you should never do anyway but they have an extra thick bottom that's also used for induction cooking but it also prevents the um, pan itself from warping because it's so extra thick. So here you go. This is the cold start. I do this test mainly to show, hey, worst case scenario, I cracked an egg onto a cold pan thinking I had turned on the, on the burner. Well, this is the result. You'll still have it kind of pop over here. It's fine. It, it's not going to sizzle because there's no oil in it until we pop the yolk and actually get the fat onto the actual uh, um, pan there. But it does come off very clean, very simple. Um, that sticking had more to do with me uh, not being very uh, good with the spatula, but there was no functional sticking going on. It's not going to slide on the pan as if it's oiled, so you don't expect that kind of result. But you will be able to see here that once we get the oil on there, it kind of moves around. You get a little more sizzling going on because of the fat in the yolk. Now, once we get past this, we jump into the standard uh, test where you use oil plus a hot pan. This is how you're supposed to use the pan. Ideally, you're going to have some kind of oil in the pan, even though they are, they advertise it's nonstick. The oil just helps the cooking process. If you just cook with no oil, it will cook. However, it may not cook evenly. It may not cook consistently. Consistently, and with with the uh, egg you just saw there, it comes out kind of rubbery. So that's why we even even when we have these nonstick pans, you still want to use some kind of oil, or you want to cook something that has a little bit of fat in it. The baked beans themselves actually do have some butter in there as part of the cooking process. Probably more likely some vegetable oil mixed in in the process of canning the actual baked beans. But here you see just the standard what you can expect if you fry an egg on the pan as intended by God and everybody else who makes pans and cookware. All you got to do is just throw it on there. It slides real easy. This is after several, actually quite a few number of uses. This is my second uh, set of Ninja uh, cookware. The first one was just a pan. Then we went ahead and bought the whole set because we liked it because it had the big old uh, stock pot. All these have the same surface, so this will have the same result if you cook in, a, in the saucepan, or if you cook in the big frying pan, or if you cook in the uh, stock pot for soups and stuff. You won't have to worry about burning on cream or milks or other things that tend to burn on, the things like stainless steel or, or aluminum if you ever cook with aluminum, which you shouldn't because it's not good for you. But this is coated, so it's okay. 
Then we jump into baked beans. Again, I'm testing with baked beans, one, because I wanted to eat them, and second, because it's a good test for sugar, because once you, bur once you burn off or boil off all the water, you start seeing browning of the beans themselves, and if you just have a stainless steel pan that isn't sealed properly or isn't buttered properly, or there's not enough oil in the actual baked beans that you're making, you're going to end up with a lot of burn on and a lot of scorching of the sugar. So here you'll see as we're losing more and more of the water content, usually if you're using another kind of pan, you're going to end up having scorching and it's going to, it's going to stick really badly here. Obviously you're seeing that it's just sliding right off because the nonstick coating is doing its job. You can also see a that there's a little bit of darkening with the beans as they're starting to caramelize because the sugar inside the baked beans is caramelizing even more. But other than that, guys, that's the review and demonstration. It does a great job. Nothing really to report out that's negative. Um, the price point is okay, considering inflation being the way it is and how expensive things are getting. But you can get it on sale for under $200 if you just be patient. But if you want it for a gift, it's a simple gift. It lasts. Um, I have not had issues with it breaking down as of yet. I do have a Ninja Foodie Never Stick pan that I've had for almost two years now. And that thing's still going strong. And that was purchased from Walmart for $22 two, three years ago, so it's still going well. Uh, the, the products they make are good. Overall, again, really happy with it. Price point's okay. The product itself does, the, does is as advertised, and the silicone handles are a big plus because it makes it a little easier to hold on to, and you don't have to worry. But it's just a little added benefit to the Ninja system that wasn't there three years ago when I first bought the pan. So other than that, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.